Hello, it's Chris from My Stamp Lady, and I'm here today with a really fun fold for you. I've recently come across the accordion fold, and it has a fun little uh, pull out to the right side here. So your front, a window, and then a little pull out. I'm going to show you how I did this, including how I got Poppy Parade Baker's Twine here, um, and a tip for using the Many Messages die. I'm going to be using the Four Season Floral stamp set. The sentiment will be from the Peaceful Moment stamp set. I have Soft Seafoam Ink, Poppy Parade, Tuxedo Black, and then I have a set of the Petal Pink blends. And these two markers are from the Subtles pack, and this is the Poppy Parade markers from the Brights pack. And I will also be using the layering circles to cut out the window. Okay, so I have my cardstock here. I have it pre-cut. You can go to my website, mystamplady.com, to see all of the sizes. And I will have all the supplies that I'm using listed below. The card front, and I have a half a sheet of sea foam, soft sea foam, five and a half by eight and a half, scored up one and a quarter. And then I've taken a piece, and this is actually a sneak peek from next year's patterns. So when you become a demonstrator during celebration, which ends February 28th, 2021, you get five stacks, five six by six stacks with your starter kit. So if you have any questions about that, don't hesitate to ask. But this is one of those pattern papers from that set. So you're getting a sneak peek at next year or the next annual catalog, the 2021 20. 22 annual catalog patterns. I'm going to place this right on the top before I cut that window. Grabbing one of my plates and then I'm going to put this down. Make sure you open your cardstock or your card open. You don't want to cut through the back piece. And then I'm just going to position this right here on the front approximately where I think it's going to belong and I'm going to run this through my stamp and cut and emboss. This is the second largest circle which I think is two and five eighths but I have it written down for sure. Um, on the blog. Okay, so on my piece of soft sea foam, I'm going to cut out this scalloped circle. Okay, so after I've cut out the scalloped circle, then I'm going to take the same size circle that I did the card in the front of the card here. I'm going to position this here in the center of my circle. So what I'll have left is a little frame of um, scallops. Okay, so you want to save this piece because you're going to use it, and then you have your scalloped piece that's going to be put right on the top here. And what I'm going to do is I am going to actually use a spray adhesive. I, that's my prep, my that's my favorite way of sticking these down. So I'm going to go put a little bit of spray adhesive on the back of this, and I'll be back. Okay, I have that spray adhesive on here. Actually, I'm going to open it up just so I can see where that's white and just. Put that down a bit easier. So now I can set this piece aside because I'm done for right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and so this piece here is eight by four and I'm going to just do a little bit of scoring here. I am going to score it. This is my cutting blade. I don't want to use that. So we're going to put it at four inches here and I am going to score that and then I am going to score it at two inches and this is going to make my fold. Okay, so I can set this aside. So I have it scored like that, and then back. So that's just kind of um, in half and in half again. So now we'll position, put this is going to be placed using my stamp and seal. And then we'll just place this right inside the front here. Now you can see I have the basic form for my card. I'm going to need a circle that's one size smaller than my opening. So I have used that circle to cut that out. Now let's just do a little bit of stamping here. I'm using this flower from the Four Season Floral. Let's ink that up with the Tuxedo Black. And because it's a photopolymer, I am going to put a stamp and pierce pad underneath, and then we'll just put my flower. And I'm going to do two more. Do one here on the side, and then we'll do one on this side here. 
There we go. So now I have my three flowers here, a little bit of coloring. I'm going to color the two side ones with the dark petal pink. Then I'll color the middle one here with my Poppy Parade. There actually is a Poppy Parade blends, but I just don't have it. So I'm using my water-based marker, but you can see how you can use these together also. And the pear pizzazz for the leaves. I wanted to, and when I got done coloring, I wanted to add just a little bit of color. So I took one of the blending brushes, I inked it up with my soft sea foam, and I'm stamping it up, and then I'm just kind of pouncing on here to give it a little bit of color. And it's not quite as stark white. There we go. You do want to kind of get that first one off on some scrap paper. And we can just put this right on to this piece here. Okay, so now it comes to putting this down. And one thing you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you don't put adhesive on this part of it because then it's going to stick to your background. And because the entire um, piece is not adhered down, I am going to use a little bit of the Stamp and Seal Plus. This is a little bit stronger and it's going to do a good job of holding it down. So I put my adhesive just in this part here and then I can put down my circle where I would like that, right in the center there, and then we'll press that into place, and then when you open it up, it's going to be positioned in the right spot. So now I need a little sentiment for the front. Okay, so with my Poppy Parade, I'm gonna put my Happy Birthday down. With the Many Messages die, I want to use this particular die right here, or opening, I should say. So I'm just going to place that underneath center my happy birthday and cut that out. When you cut that out, you notice I have these two little side flaps and I want it to look like it has a darker color behind it. So I'm just going to take my post-it note and I'm gonna mask off the rest of the shape. I've masked off that shape. I'm gonna pull back in that pear pizzazz marker and just give that a color. There we go. And now I'll repeat on the other side. When you take off your post-it note, there it is. It looks like I have some darker color behind it. So now let's just put that down with some seal. Put that right to the right here. I have this wishing you every happiness this special day will bring. Do that just right in the center with some Poppy Parade. I've cleaned off my stamp. I don't want this stem quite as long, so I'm gonna use that post-it note again. Mask off the bottom of that stem, because it's gonna be a little bit too long. And then ink this flower up. Okay, take off the post-it note. Bring my card back in. And then we're just going to put that flower, because I've uh, masked part of that off. I have a shorter stem, and it fits in there perfectly how I want that. And then I'll go ahead and color it. I'm gonna let that dry for a second, but I will use my pear pizzazz and my petal pink, and I'll go ahead and color that. But I wanna let that dry for a second. Okay, so the last step is I took a length of the Baker's Twine, the white Baker's Twine, and I wanted it to be Poppy Parade. So I took one of our Stampin' Spritzers. I filled the Stampin' Spritzer with rubbing alcohol, and with Poppy Parade ink refill, and that's how I got this filled. And then I took the white Baker's twine, and I just spritzed it, and I did it ahead of time just because it needs to dry. I spritzed it, let it dry, and I did get it quite spritzed. Like I spritzed it quite a bit. I had it kind of puddled around on the paper, not too much, and then once it dried, it came out a little bit darker. I thought it was gonna be a little bit I thought it was going to be a little bit too light, but it came out really nice. And you can adjust the color just by how much ink refill you add to your bottle. So I think I put about 10 drops in there. You can definitely change the coloring by adding more or less ink. Oh, and you can always adjust how big you want your ribbon. I'm just going to take a mini glue dot and I'm just going to kind of roll that up. Let's put that down there and then set my ribbon right on top. There is my card front. This is my accordion fold with the window on the front here. So if you have any questions, be sure to contact me, Chris, at MyStampLady.com, and you can find the supplies all listed and the sizes on my blog at MyStampLady.com. Thanks so much for watching.